Hello everyone, I have created an invoice management template in Google Sheets and Google Apps Script to manage my invoices flexibly, fast, and easily. At the top of the right corner, I have included three buttons such as Dashboard, Clients, and Invoice Generator. The Dashboard button is this tab that is currently on, the Client tab includes the recording of new clients and viewing the list of clients, and the Invoice Generator is the list of clients and articles included to generate invoices. Below are three scorecard charts total clients recorded through the Client button, total products including the number of products slash articles that have been recorded, and total invoices that include the invoices recorded. Below is the table chart including the list of the invoices with the details and the total amount. At the right corner is the column chart that includes the recorded clients based on the business type. Let me authorize the script first to proceed further. By clicking on the client button it will redirect to the client sheet. It includes the drop-down list and it will give all the business type lists that the recorded clients and the list will appear in the table below. In the right corner, there is a button that will open the pop-up screen to record a new client. In front here is the data button that will open the table with the complete clients list. The third button is invoice generator. It includes the drop-down clients list to select. There are several buttons in the right corner with different functions. The first right button opens the pop-up screen to add a new product. All the products will be listed in the blue table below. The second button redirects the screen to the Print INV tab which will pull the details from this tab and prepare the invoice template ready for print. The third button redirects to the products list to change the status if the client has paid, unpaid, or partly paid invoices. Fourth button includes a pop-up screen to record the details of the invoice. It will pull the client information and generate data in the below table that will be pulled in the Print INV tab. The last button includes the details list of whom we are preparing the invoice to. Let's first record one client and then let's create a new record for one new invoice. The client that we have just recorded will be listed in the drop-down list as a company name. We should primarily select the client and then create a new invoice for that client. All the details from the client tab will be pulled to the table below. We can add multiple invoices for the same client or switch to a different client. The mandatory is to select a checkbox to identify which invoice we want to update with the products. Then we click on the primary button at the end of the page. It will open the pop-up screen to add a new product. We need to fill description, quantity, and unit quantity price. We can add multiple products for each invoice that we checked with the checkbox. If we want to add products to another invoice we need to change the checkbox to the desired invoice and then fill out the details of the product. For each invoice, it will give the total invoice amount that we have just added to each invoice separately. If we finish the list of articles that we are or have been selling to the client, we click on the second button and it will redirect us to Print INV. All the details will be pulled to the Print INV tab. It will be identified as Invoice Unpaid, where you can easily change the status to the partly paid or invoice paid by the client. The changes can be done through the Product List tab mentioned in the Invoice Generator tab. In the dashboard, you will notice the updates to the scorecard chart, table, and column chart. If you have any questions or any feedback let me know in the comment below.